All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another mod spotlight. My name is Zach, and today we're going to be taking a look at the primitive mobs mod. In this mod, a whole bunch of new creatures are added, or should I say variations of old creatures, uh, old mobs that were already in the game for the most part. There's there's only uh, one one mob that is, is new, or two mobs. There's two mobs that are new. But for the most part, they're all variations of stuff that was already in Minecraft, so... It doesn't really change the way uh, Minecraft works fundamentally, like other mod mods will, but it it does. It makes it a lot cooler, and uh, in in many ways. So I'm gonna start us off with a couple of passive mobs. As you can see, we got a couple of guys sitting on this hillside over here. These guys are called traveling merchants. They're pretty much villagers that you can find all over the place in the world, and it makes it easier to find villagers to trade with without having to go to villages. Uh, pretty much the only difference between uh, them and villagers is that they have this <laughs> this big old backpack on their back. I'm trying to follow this guy. He's going all over the place. Uh, and it's got like some sort of tent on the back and, and all that. They look, the skin looks really cool. The only problem with them though is that uh, during the night they have nowhere to run and hide. So they're pretty much done for at night. That's about it for them. They're, they have the same trades and all that. Alright, so let's take a look at another passive mob. This one's called the Lost Miner. You can find them under Y equals 60. Let's spawn him. As you can see, he's running around with his pickaxe. He's crying because he's lost. And he'll follow you everywhere you go because he's trying to get out. So, if you bring him up from below Y equals 60 to Y equals 70. Where we are, are we now? We're 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. He'll stop crying as you see, and then if you right click him when he's above this above this spot here, we'll give some hearts and he'll drop between one and six emeralds. So we got we got three. So that was a pretty good transfer. But after that, they're pretty much useless. Zombies really love these guys. They'll go after him pretty hard and they have nowhere to hide underground. So it raises your chance of finding villager zombies, which is pretty cool. So let's get rid of him. He's useless to us now. Alright, the next mob is a hostile mob that you can find under, well, underground anywhere. It's just a, a type of spider called the Mother Spider. So let's spawn it. Actually, let's grab the other stuff first. You don't know, you don't know what uh, the egg thing is, but I'll tell you in a minute. So let's spawn the Mother Spider. As you can see, there's a baby spider on its back. And it didn't spawn any spiders around with it. Usually there's a few spiders that spawn with it. And those spiders will attack you if you attack their mother. Actually, kind of. Let's let's spawn another one. Let's spawn, let's spawn two. There we go. That one's got some some babies. All right. So let's kill this one. Useless to us now. As you can see, that baby is now crying because I just killed his mother. Poor baby. And those babies will just drop regular uh, string and all that. So if I if I attack any one of these, they'll all start attacking me pretty much. And let's get rid of them here. They have a lot of health, actually. And you can see the baby. Baby spiders are crying again because they lost their mama. Okay, I'm done with you guys. Because they'll attack you no matter what if you attack their mother or any of their, their siblings. Alright, so those spiders have a chance of dropping a spider egg. And if you already click the ground with the spider egg, I'll spawn a baby spider that'll just follow you around because it thinks it's your, uh, you're its mama. Oh. oh, I spawned one on it. I'm like, I ain't hit it. So, these guys will all follow you around, and if you give them fermented spider eyes, they'll grow up, and it takes five to grow to adulthood. Once in adulthood, you can right-click them and write them kind of like a pig, and they'll they'll kind of act like a pig, pretty much. They go really fast, though. You, you book with these guys. So, they're cool to have. But if you were to, and let's grab some more fermented spider eyes here, or one, once you do it, if you were to start growing one, and you right clicked it with its spider egg shell that drops when you spawn it, it'll go back into the egg. So if you have it at any level before it's reached maturity and you right click it with the egg shell, it will, it'll do that. So this one will just wander about, but uh, if it gets hurt when it's wandering about, and you right click it with, uh, so let's hit it a couple times. You right click it with some zombie flesh. You can see it'll get some hearts and it'll heal. So let's get rid of these guys because we're done with them. Is he trying to get over there? What are you doing? Stop opening this stuff. Crazy, crazy spider. Try not to break anything. Oh, we lost. Uh, 
freaking all sorts of stuff. All right, so moving on here, we have another a new mob actually that spawns below y equals 40. These are called mimics, and they mimic chests. So one of these does not, or one of these is real, and two of them do not belong. Can you tell which ones they are? I can. These two right here on the corners are a little bit bigger than the middle one. So let's let's see what happens when we attack them. I try to open them. That is. Look, it's it becomes a, a chest attacking mob, and it has a it drops a chest. So let's open this. Oh, that one just became a regular chest. That's funny. Oh, and look. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if you put a chest next to them and right click them, they have a chance of dropping uh, stuff you can find in in the mine shafts. I thought that was just when you kill them. But apparently, you have to put a chest next to them. That's really cool. So. Uh, as you can see, this guy dropped a diamond. That's pretty cool. They didn't have the egg in there before. Well, I did have the egg in there before, but it was in the left chest. All right, so here we have haunted tools. As you can see, they're hopping around here, and they'll come after you. They're hostile. They'll spawn anywhere above ground or below ground. Uh, above ground when it's nighttime, and below ground anytime. Similar to regular hostile mobs in Minecraft. Now, these guys will come after you, so you can see they're bouncing around here. They come in all the different types of tools. And if you attack them before they can kill you and kill them, they will drop their tool type. So as you can see, that dropped a wooden sword. This one will drop a golden axe. And we got it. We got a golden axe. I'm going to leave the rest of these guys alone because they're just they're hopping in. They're not bothering me. Put that in there too. All right, so moving on to the main part of this mod. We got different types of creepers and different types of slimes. Let's start off with the creepers. The first creeper here is the festival creeper. You can see he's got a little bit of smiley face on. The reason for this is when you start attacking him, if you get him below uh, five hearts of health, he will come after you pretty hard. He'll run away actually, and he'll start throwing TNT at you. So let's let's try to anger this guy a little bit. Come on, come out here, get out of here, guy. All right, come on. Come on. Go. Go, creeper. Get out there. I'm going to throw a TNT at me. I don't want to destroy everything when I do it. So, let's probably get him below 5 health. Let's see what he does. Yep, there goes the TNT. Boom! <laughs> so, you want to kill these guys uh, as quickly as possible if you find them. You don't want them to start throwing TNT at you and running away. And he, uh, he dropped some, uh, some flint there. Pretty cool. The next creeper is called the Rocket Creeper. I'm not going to attack him here though because he can, he can definitely deal some damage. So let's let's go over here to the, the Rocket Creeper test grounds. And I'll show you something here. So let's say you were st strolling about. And let's change our game mode here. Slash game mode. That's not how you spell game mode. There we go. Zero. So now I can't fall. If I were to let a creeper out and he attacked me. Come on, creeper. He's going to do a, a mortar kind of thing. Boom! <laughs> They're pretty cool. That's what they do. So you want to kill those guys as quickly as possible as well. Or probably from a distance. Those are distance creepers you want to you wanna kill. So here we have the slimes. Or actually, no. We're not moving on the slimes yet. we still got one more creeper to go. All right. So, the support creeper will give you a little debuff anytime you're around him. And it's got a small area of effect, so let's get closer here. Let's see how close we gotta get. Relatively close. And he will debuff you, and he will also help other mobs. Not only creepers, but other types of mobs, like skeletons and zombies. So, if you see one of these guys around, you wanna kill him first. He'll act like a normal creeper rather than that explode when you get close to him. And all of these guys will spawn like normal creepers as well. Uh, during the night and underground anytime. So let's move on to the slimes. Uh, these guys are more passive, uh, kind of. This guy is definitely aggressive. This is the brain slime. These guys, if you attack him, let's get in here, let's see what he does. You can see he jumped on my head and I'll start sucking your brains out. Just whack him to get him off. Oh, wanna get out? Oh no, not the, not the brain. Brain slime. Let's get ready. That guy's giving me some debuffs. <laughs> but those guys will spawn uh, around gravel and sand on the overworld, closer to water. So I don't think he'll spawn in the desert, but he will spawn over here by this river. 
So you want to watch out for those guys. They actually do a ton of damage. The bigger they are, the more damage they'll do. And they're, they're pretty tough, so you want to watch out for them. So let's move on to the treasure slimes. These are probably the main part of this mod. And the cool thing about them is if you can look at them, you can see the different colors, but they have things inside them. That's, that's a record slime. Those ones are actually really, really rare. And the bigger the slime is, the more slimes it will make. So if you have a really big slime and you kill him and he's got stuff on him, he'll make other slimes, but they won't only be of his type. So if we have a big slime with a with a diamond in him and we kill him, he could make uh, half slimes with regular slime in him or, or snowballs like these guys have or a record is. So the bigger slimes uh, are what you want to go for and the small slimes, the regular slimes, will always be slime balls. So if we killed one of those guys, we'd find a slime ball. This is, this over here is another type of slime. This is called, uh, what is it? Let's see what this one is called. I can't find a name. So this guy is just uh, a friendly, a friendly one. He won't actually hurt you, but he will follow you. So if you, as you can see this guy, he'll try to get out. Let's see if he can follow us. Follow us. Come on. Come on. Get through the gate. All right. So he'll follow you. And he won't attack you. So if you if you find this guy around you and he's he's following you, if you hold shift or the sneak button, whichever your sneak button is, and you right click, he'll get on your head and he'll change color. Oh, he died. What the heck? Alright, so after a little bit of trial and error, I was able to get another one out. So let's let's try this again. Alright, come on, follow me. Hold shift. Right click. He's on me now. He's not getting hurt. As you can see, his color changed. And that's pretty much because you can change the actual color individually. Let's grab all this stuff. So let's say we give him a bunch of red. And these are the only three types of uh, things that will change his color. Say we give him a bunch of red. As you can see, his hue starts to change to a more red color. But if we give him some blue, he'll become more purplish. And some green will make him become just a shade of gray. So the more, the more colors you give him, the, more, the closer he gets to white. So if we gave him all of these colors, he'll get closer and closer to white, which is pretty cool. You can also change their their jumping style. So let's right click him. We'll make him stop. That's why he wasn't moving. So as you can see, he's not jumping around or anything. But when you, as you can see, he's got hearts. If you give him a record, I'm just testing this because there was a record creeper over there, and they're pretty rare. I want to see if a record. Nope. But different types of items will make him have different jumping effects. I don't know what those items are, but you're going to have to experiment with that yourself. And if your creeper gets, not your creeper, but your slime gets hurt in battle or in any other way, if you feed him a, uh, one of their own kind of slime, <laughs> it'll heal him. So let's make this guy stop for a second. That'll probably about do it. Oh, I forgot to mention all of these slimes spawn below Y equals zero. Except for the, those guys, of course, I already told you how those guys spawn. But this is... This uh, friendly slime is technically a member of these slimes, these hostile slimes, and it will spawn b below Y equals zero. Or Y equals 40, Y equals zero. It'll never spawn. <laughs> but that'll about do it for this mod. If you guys want to check out the mod, the link will be in the description. If you have any questions or anything for me, just go ahead and leave a comment. Like if you liked the video, dislike if you disliked the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.